the unidentified life form adulteration process has been going somewhat according to plan. I, I mean, it has. Has been according to plan. Dilution of the UL has been risky, but in the end we got our results. We tested the first version of the serum on the subject he sent us. Um, about seven seconds after injection, the subject started darting his eyes across the room, almost as if he was seeing things that weren't there. The next nine to ten seconds, the subject started to wait until, uh, until gray matter started to leak out of his neck near the injection site. Directors, please. Um, regrets to inform you, but, uh, unfortunately, we can't continue the ULA experiment because, well, uh, the, the serum, the serum, you see, the serum works, but the amount of times that it didn't work cost us. I don't even know how to explain it. I would have gotten Theo to do this, but he is still in his office. He did provide his notebook that described the problem. I guess he can't come to terms with the facts. That's probably why he's still crying. Well, the D1 variant of the serum is what caused this mess. After injection, the usual started to happen. 
subject would go through extreme amounts of pain before, well, you know, dying. So we thought, when the Kuna team arrived to receive the body. When Dr. Charles saw the body upon first glance, he said the body looked dead, but was still breathing. And then, on further inspection, noticed the growth that was apparent on the side of the subject's neck. When we got a hold of the body, we ran some tests and came to the conclusion that it was going through some type of metamorphosis. We started to check its radiation levels to see if anything else was abnormal. That's when we detected that the same radiation that had been emitting from the UL was emitting from the body. We assumed that the UL had somehow laid an egg inside the subject, or worse, had replicated the cavity itself inside. The cavity, the cavity itself inside. <laughs> I just can't stand it here. Sure, it pays well, but it's not with my sanity. It's like they make you feel in control by saying, Hey, you're in charge of this. And we're left to think that we're on top of the situation even though we aren't. And that's how they want it. I'm so done with this. I'm not even supposed to be talking to you about this. Last week, the fucking face opened. You hear me? The fucking face opened. Just leave. Leave while you still can. There are things I will never be able to unsee. <laughs> 